Sheet's just here, nailed here to block a hole to keep people from breaking in. And the nails are not all the way in, if you see. That way I can pull it out and lock it in place properly and everything. So that's what I got going on. Got it sheeted. Scrap pile again. I keep taking away trash and keep making more. But I actually like the color of this stuff versus the pink of the house. <laughs> Anyway, and here's the fuse box as a motorcycle goes by. But yeah, I do these beams. Those beams are all done. So yeah. Yeah. This wall has to go. So I dug a hole because, uh, I need to move this power, whatever the hell it does, junction, I don't know. It's where the power comes in from the street. <sighs> Onto that post, which will be sunken in that hole and braced heavily, because you got like maybe 250 pounds of torque on that. And you don't want to have to call Georgia Power out here. See, this wall's bullshit. It's rotten out. The base plate's rotten out. It's all gone. I need to replace the studs, the uh, joist, the plywood, all that crap. So I need to take out this. Well, just at least I'm not going to move it or anything. I'm just going to swing these brackets over here, mount them to the pole. And uh, you want a risk of uh, pissing off Georgia Power, and you don't want to do that because if Georgia Power comes out here, they'll pull your meter because you're not supposed to really be touching that at all. You're not supposed to do any of this. Yeah, you're not supposed to do that at all. They'll just like kill you instantly. So, yeah. But don't have a choice. Let's see if this post will fit. In that hole. And I threw the toilet and it broke, of course. It was fun though. And uh got the pole finished. Well, not finished, just up. It's not going nowhere. These are these pieces are tied into posts. And uh you can see it won't move. It's an old telephone pole. Sunk in about three feet. I dug it a little bit deeper. And uh now I'm gonna put two by sixes in between here, then I'll swing these brackets. But that's another day. Today, it's about to rain again. And uh, I want to get some of this cleaned up a little. Got a lot of crap around here. Take away some scrap metal and come back for trash later. Probably do that and call today. But at least I got that done. And I could probably do that whole wall in a good eight hours. I'm thinking Friday. But I work Friday though, so I'd have to be after work. So uh, I don't know when exactly. But. Definitely will be careful. I got this old sign blocking a hole in the wall. But uh, here's where I'm at right now. I replaced the studs here. I mean the floor joists and plywood it up. And go ahead over here. I got my temporary pole. And I got the uh, thing mounted with straps. But the problem is they have screws in this box going that way. And I need to cut some of that wood, so I put bracing underneath and catch it in case it falls. I'm going to tear off this, hopefully before it rains. Try to tear off all that crap. <coughs> Get it done. Hopefully. It's only about a two foot section, but it's going to be the hardest two feet I've ever done. So, And i got to take out that plug-in. That uh, white. Which appears let's see, to be a junction box. Because they all are, for some reason, they're all junctions. And so I'm gonna do that. I got the wall mostly down and uh, the ply red ripped up here. And if you notice this, this is your dryer vent. And it just dumps into the floor joists. I don't know if all trailers are like that or just this one. Uh, I kept the plywood in between this wall because it has electrical paint on it. And electricity scares the shit out of me, so I'm gonna leave that like that. I'm going to replace the floor all the way up until right about there. And then I'm going to stop, do the floor here, do the, remove the hot water here. Probably have to remove that cabinetry. I kind of want to keep that, but uh, I don't know. And uh, it's getting close, though. So I'll at least get this fixed up before I leave today. But anyway, there's all your lint. Well, I got the wall of in between the power thing, I had to take out a 2x6 they had here. 
cut it up with the sawzall and I'll have to replace it and paint it the same color or the power company will be on to me. I might sawzall all these nails or bend them over. Um, <clears throat> there's a sawzall. I replaced the flooring right up until about there and uh, I need to start putting my uh, crap back together before the power company reads me here and finds me $150 or something for beeping with their box. So I gotta put my base plate in, figure out where the door is gonna be. Well, there's the door where it closes anyway. Button this all up and then put my sheet of where the hell that stuff is siding right in between there. As you see that piece isn't actually put in there all the way, it's just kind of sitting there. Anyway.